Hi guys, welcome back to the test server here from Pig Sonic, and today we are going to be testing lots and lots of new stuff. We're going to be testing the Sharanga, the weapons for the Sharanga, which are the strike weapons here, and I am going to show you guys what the Skadi weapon looks like because in the last update. When they came out with the new weapons, the Sneer, the Hell and the Scuddy, we didn't have the Scuddy at all. We just had the Hell and the Sneer. So we, we are going to have a look at the weapons here. Now, they came out with the Hell, the Sneer and the Scuddy weapon. Now the Hell weapons, those are the weapons here on top of the Hawk here. No, it looks like that they don't have any textures yet. That's because the weapon here, the hell weapon, that is only in the beta version. So they didn't put in any textures or any graphics of that matter yet. They're still in the beta version, so that's why they are looking so grey like that. And those are the sneer weapons at the side there. Those are the sneers. That's what they look like with the texture on. They look pretty damn cool guys, don't you think? The sneers here on the side. Look at that guys. Pixonic did a nice job in giving those weapons a nice texture look. Awesome. Alright. So now we are going to have a look at the Skadi because like I said in the last version of the game they didn't come out with the Skadi, they just had the Hell and the Sneer. So I have chosen here a Leech where we have the Skadi weapon on here. Now the Skadi weapon they got a nice texture as well just like the Sneer did. Look at that guys. Nice uh, textures here on those weapons. Awesome. Wow, cool. Brilliant. Look at that, guys. Now we're going to have a look at the Scaddy weapon here in detail. So, the Scaddy weapon at level 8, it does 3793 damage. It has a range of 600 meters, a reload time here of 5 seconds, and it can freeze up other robots as well. Now the Scaddy, the Hell and the Sneer, they have a similar firepower to the Iron Cannon weapon. So what I'm gathering from that is that those are some type of cannon weapons. Let's have a look in detail here. Damage output of that weapon here is 3793 at level 8, 600 meter range, 5 second reload time, effect accumulation of 124% and the accumulation of how long it takes to destroy, to put a little bit of damage on the enemy robot here, 5 seconds. Incredibly powerful energy weapon that damages enemies with a flow of cold plasma particles. After a certain number of hits, the target freezes. Its movement speed is lowered and incoming damage is increased. So the incoming damage of the weapon against the enemy robot is going to be increased and the robot is going to slow down once it freezes up. It's an energy weapon, so... Uh, it fires off energy plasma rays. Um, it can be fired off manually. It uh, fires the ammunition out really slowly. And it can be reloaded during the action of fire. So when you're shooting with the weapon, it reloads the weapon at the same time. So that that is a little bit something here on the Skadi. 
weapon. Alright, so we are gonna have a look at the Sharanga. Now I did a video on this before. The Sharanga here has a protection here of 600,000 here. We have the new strike weapons on here. Let's have a look at those again. Uh, they do a damage here at level 16 of 20,200k. Now that's a lot of firepower right there, guys. Um, 800 meters and a 7 second reload time. It's a super heavy weapon. It fires out bursts of plasma. Not plasma rays, but uh, energy rays. Just like the shock train weapon does. But that weapon is a bit more powerful than, than the old shock train on the regular robots here. It's an energy weapon, it fires off manually, it reloads the weapon at the same time as you're firing it. So that is the striker weapon here. Uh, we have the full power here of that Sharanga, and we have the face exile. Now the face exile is it's, it's a bit like uh, suppressing other robots with a suppression array. And the full power is when you activate the ability of the full power. You can use the full power of all three weapons at the same time. So once you fire all three weapons, the enemy robot is going to lose a, a lot of um, a lot of a lot of health. It's like boom, and the enemy robot only has maybe less than half health left over. All right. We're gonna jump in here into hangar two. I have here the the uh, Arthur. I have put on the Arthur here the new crate weapon. Uh, we have two crates, and we have the striker. Now the crate weapon here can do damage at level sixteen of two thousand and forty. That reminds me of that damage output reminds me of a damage output from the Spark. I think the spark has 2040 as well at level, I don't know what level, probably level 8 or something. I have to check that out. But that 2040, that r reminds me of another damage output from another weapon. So 500 meters here, 8 second reload, and it has a damage over time. Detail. Yeah, we have seen the, data, the detail on that weapon before in another video uh, damage over time 44 s uh, per second that was the damage over time um, accumulation chance of 100% here and it takes 5 seconds to, to do a little bit of damage on your enemy robot alright that is the crit weapon we have added the striker weapon as well here. And uh, yeah. Hangar 3 here. We have the Ox Minus. I have added here 3 crit weapons because they do a fair amount of damage. Those are probably light weapons, as you guys can see here. They're either light or medium. I'm gonna go for medium. Those are those are medium weapons. The retaliators here, they are probably light weapons. But those are mediums, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. People out there might know a little bit, a little bit better. Could be light weapons as well. And those, those are beta, beta weapons. Um, hangar 4, I have added here the oh, Ming. I have added here two crits and two strikers. Like I said, strikers do 20,200 damage and the crits here 2040 damage. So that is what my 
Titans look like with the new weapons I got. You know, when you're on the test server here, you have to try out what's new. Um, we're gonna switch back here in the hangar one, or should I say here, hangar, hangar two? We have here the Typhon. I have added four of the scatty weapons, guys. <laughs> four scatty weapons here. Did do a damage here of three thousand. 793 and have a range of 600 meters all those weapons have a range of 600 uh, hell scatty and snare and we are gonna have a look at the at the module here the nitro unit now last time and the last update here and the last 7.00 update here they had a different sign up here. They had the damage output sign saying 15%. That was that was uh, wrong. They changed it. They put here a speed sign here. A speed a speed decal. 15%. That means that decal up there where the 15% is right beside it that means it is that is the speed of the robot. 15% more speed to the robot. Detailed version here. Uh, that module is active permanent, which means it's active all the time. And it gives the robot a 15% more speed boost when it's walking, that is. 15% more walk speed. Yeah, I have added that module all on my other robots here. The shell has it. We have here two sneers and the hell. Yeah, I have added a nitro unit on my on my shell here. Put it on the Ravana. We have here three scaddies. No, they f they fixed the scaddies for from what I'm hearing, and the last update when you have fired off the 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 hell and the sneer. Those weapons they weren't hitting properly, and they weren't doing their damage that they were supposed to do. But from what I'm seeing now in this new version of 7.0.0, those weapons are actually hitting enemy robots and they are doing the damage that they are supposed to yeah and they're they're actually hitting hitting the enemy robot and doing the damage that are that they are supposed to do so that's a nice a nice fix that pixonic made i have the health here on the on the jaeger and the modules here are the nitro unit. I have that nitro unit on every robot that I have built here. We're gonna we're gonna jump here into hangar four. I have a hawk and four uh, orgies or orochi. I probably make the last hangar here, hangar hangar five here. I might make uh, five orgies and with another sharanga. I'm gonna put in another sharanga, but I'm gonna put on different weapons on the Sharanga. We will see. The Hawk here, he's got uh, two Sneers and two Hells and the uh, Nitro unit. We have here the Fortifier and the Anti-Control. That is the, the new Orochi. We had a look at him here In the last video, when the robot first came out, uh, when this Orochi robot came out, first time, the robot didn't have any skin textures. Textures, It was uh, all gold. So now uh, Pixonic have added a, a brand new, awesome looking skin texture to the Orochi. Yes, here 102,000 um, health. It has a speed here of 65 kilometers per hour, and it has 
the Viper Strike. Now the Viper Strike is something, it's an ability, the Viper Strike. You can see it down here, the Viper Strike is you activate the ability and it and it fires off acid against acid to other enemy robots it hits it hits them and no other robots can see you if you're outside their range so it's a little it acts a little bit like stealth and it fires off acid ammunition towards enemy robots and you, you can activate that ability two times. So acid will do damage to enemy robots. So you can, uh, that Orochi fires off the acid ammo two times. That is the, the ability of the Viper Strike. Plus it acts a bit like stealth as well. And the arming here. Yeah, I showed you guys that before. The crit and the strike. Now we're going to have a look at the mods here. The mods are self-fix unit, cannibal reactor. Those are all at level one, and you can't, you can't upgrade them. You can't upgrade all of that. In older versions of the game, you could upgrade the modulations here on the robots. Well, you, you could upgrade them. On the Titans anyway. I played on a version before you could you could upgrade the Titan weapons and the Titan modules, but this time you can't. Hangar tree, I have here the Phantom with the snare, the scaddy and another snare. Here are my modules. Uh, we have a skin here. I'm gonna switch the skin over. I'm gonna put that one on. Uh, do we have a skin for the Ojun? Yeah, we have a skin for the Ojun. Gonna put that one on. Or we could put on the Cyber because the Cyber has 5% more protection. Protection, so that is what we're going to do. Uh, the Orochi doesn't have a um, a selectable skin as of yet. Hangar 4, the Hawk, doesn't have a, a selectable skin. Going to Hangar 2 here. The Jaeger doesn't have a selectable skin either. The Typhon, no. Nor does the Scorpion here, the Shell, doesn't have a selectable skin, and uh, yeah, the Ravana doesn't have one either. No. Just the, the Leech here. Uh, yeah. That is what this, that skin looks like. This guy here, we can buy him. Put him on. Yeah. Those are the new scatty weapons. They look awesome, guys. Look at that. Now, those weapons, they, they fit to the skin of the robot as well. When I do this, a closer look at the leech here. And the scary one. That looks a lot better than before. So when I'm going to be doing uh, battle games, I'm not going to be talking or anything like that. I'm going to be playing without my headset here. And uh, I'm just going to do recording with the sound on. I might do one video with my headset here where the sounds are turned off and I'm talking my way through the battle. I might do one video on that but the rest of the videos I'm gonna turn the sound on, I'm gonna turn the music on, I'm gonna turn the sound on and uh, I'm gonna do battles without 
without talking. So yeah, let's see if they have any any changes here. No, that is still the same. Graphical changes. Uh, that is not going to be available until in another version. So we're going to have to play with the minimal graphic settings here. We can either run the game in 30 FPS or 60 FPS. 60 FPS is going to be available soon, just like this guy up here. Uh, the more powerful graphic settings are going to be available soon. But we're going to stick with the minimal graphic settings at the moment, since it's available. So nothing new on that front. Now we are going to have a look at the drones because, yeah, I keep forgetting about those drones. We have here, what type of drone is this? The names on the bottom. That is the eye drone. We're gonna we're gonna set the drone up. We have a microchip up here already. Uh, to 22% to the drone drone's ability. I have that drone on my battle rig account as well. So, uh, imitating intensifier that does a damage here of 2,800. We're gonna put that one in. Yep, over here, going into the shop here, acid sprayer, suppression, or control resistor. I'm going to put in, I think I'm going to put in here, acid sprayer. Uh, same one. Uh, controller sister we have a um, little bit of information up here as an a type effect 60% effect accumulation it's active permanent uh, yeah permanent active here the function of of the drone is gonna take over the function of the robot so we are gonna we are gonna suppressor is not bad either. Yeah. Hard to choose here sometimes. We're gonna put in the the uh, suppressor uh, no we're gonna put in the control put in the control resistor there. Sometimes sometimes it's hard to choose what type of Mother, we can switch them around later on if, if we like. Down here, we are going to put in the inhibited or the raging or the, the modulative intensifier. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, raging intensifier here. So our drone is pretty much ready here. Here we have. I wonder if we can uh, change those drones around. No, up here we're going to put in two Nibbler. We're going to put in two Nibbler drones up there. The eye drone is this guy here. That is the wasp. We have here 145 uh, asset. That means uh, damage over time ability for the drone. Asset. We are going to put in here the target seeking mini mini shooter, no, the imitating rocket shooter. Going to put that one in. Up here. The suppression chip. Here we are going to put in the inhibited intensifier. And there the modulative intensifier all right sounds good nice powerful drone we have here the sharpshooter uh, i'm gonna re-roll here yes targeting minigun shooter i'm gonna put that one in uh 
uh, anti acid no the defense mitigator we're gonna put that one in and we have more intensifiers let's see if we can uh, roll for something no we roll for the same one uh, unimpeded never had that one before so we're gonna put in the unimpeded intensifier uh, lockdowner suppressor freezer we're gonna put in gonna put in the, the lockdowner the freezer here A struggling intensifier and the recurrent reconstructive renovator. We have a couple of renovator here. Recurrent crashing, recurrent in trouble. Sounds good to me. All right, next one here. The second eye drone. That one has a twenty-two percent damage. Did that one have the same thing? Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna change that one out with the uh, do we have the sharpshooter? Yeah, we have the sharpshooter. I wanna I wanna change this drone out for something else. Uh, I'm gonna go change that out with the disc. With the disc drone here. Alright. The disc drone. Let's roll. Raging intensifier revitalizing. We're going to put in here revitalizing intensifier. Then we have the defenders. Revitalizing. Debilitating. De Defender, recurrent emergency defender. Uh, the debilitating defender, we're gonna put that one in. And down here. Aegis, recurrent in trouble absorber. Aegis, we, c we can switch those around. We're gonna go with the recurrent in trouble absorber. All right. So here, um, I'm gonna put in the nibbler drone here. So, all right, let's have a look at the chips here. Uh, Fifty-eight percent uh, healing, healing power to the robot here. That is. Then we need, we're not going to put in uh, acid spray, I don't think. We're going to put in the suppressor here, up here, a revitalizing defender. I'm going to roll it. All right, let's see what we have here. Recurrent forewarning defender. I'm gonna put that one in. Never had that chip before either. Down here. Uh, recurrent in trouble. Oh, Egypt, we have that on another. We're gonna put in the frightened anzile. Yeah, we, we can change those chips around to our liking. And for the last drone up here, we are gonna. put in here either the Octanian drone or the glider. I think we're going to put in the, the Octanian drone. 6,000 gold. Um, 865 damage output on the drone. That drone fires. it got weapons on it. We're going to put on here Control resistor. Uh, control resistor. Defense mitigator. Freezer, I should say. 
Like I said, we can uh, switch around to chips later on. Just to test them out. Thermic intensifier. I'm going to put on the this guy here. And uh, the imp unimpeded intensifier. Alright, so we have different types of drones up here. We have the Octanian. We have the Eye. Wasp. The Sharpshooter here. Good Guy Drone. The Discus. And the Nebula Drone. I might build uh, one more drone here. And that is going to be the Glider. And we are fully loaded, guys. We are fully loaded. And we are fully loaded here in the robot section as well. Yeah, like I said, in the last hangar here. Last hangar. I'm going to put in another Sharanga here. Or Nodents. Uh, I like to put in a in, in a Sharanga, and I like to change change the weapons up because we already have those weapons in Hangar One, I think it was. What do we have on here? Yeah, Hangar One. So Hangar Five, that is going to be a little bit different here. Uh, I like to put on. They do 17,000, 9,000. Those do an awful lot of damage. So, three Tsars here. I might uh, switch the, we the weapons around as well. Later on, three Tsars, three times 17,000. That is over. I think it's over 41,000. And the modules. Oh, okay. The modules. We're going to put on four cannibal reactors. Now that is sick, guys. That is freaking sick. Four cannibal reactors, guys. You can put on the Titan accelerator or the quantum sensor here. But I'm going to put on four cannibal reactors. That is freaking thick and one cannibal reactor 19% damage uh, to the weapon here it helps the weapon to do more damage and that's only at level 1 I have a cannibal reactor on my own battle rig account and that is at level I think it's at level 18 guys so yeah I'm gonna end the video here I hope you have liked this video and it's it's the game version 7.00 so let me know what you guys think of this video and the new game update on the test server I'm hoping that War Robots is going to get an update for the people that are playing on Steam iOS Android or game media or what have you so yeah Thumbs up this video, like to see some comments under the video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in another one. Thanks for watching and bye bye.